Dakota, North Dakota, with thy prairies wide and free. All thy sons and daughters. Today's state shave, North Dakota. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for joining me. In the opening of the video, you heard the North Dakota hymn. Now, North Dakota is the country's second largest oil producing state. In 2014, production generated 1 million barrels of oil per day. In addition to petroleum, the state accounts for 87% of the nation's flaxseed, 75% of our canola, and 31% of total sunflower oil. The state is also the nation's largest producer of honey. A lot of bees hang out in North Dakota, apparently. In 1881, a North Dakotan named David Henderson Houston filed a patent on the first roll film camera, which was invented by his brother, Peter. Eight years later, he sold the patent to George Eastman. Some of you may know that name. He also provided a suggestion for the name he wanted to go with NODAC, an abbreviation of North Dakota. But Eastman declined to change the initial N to a K and the name Kodak became photographic history. Some of you re may remember roll film. Here's a picture to remind all of you oldies. Now you don't see that too much anymore, huh? You don't see it at all, unless you're in the photography industry and you still believe in film and you develop your own because Nowadays, everyone's got a tablet or a smart camera and everything is digital. So that is a collector's item. The North Dakota legislator has rejected two separate proposals to drop North from the state's name. In 1947 and 1989, both attempts proposed to rename the state Dakota failed. And finally, for the opening, North Dakota is the happiest state in America relative to life evaluation, emotional health, work environment, physical health, healthy behaviors, and access to basic necessities. This is probably because the state leads the nation in growth of millionaires per capita. Since 2013, the state added at least 1,800 new millionaire households to its population of 294,000. If that isn't attractive enough, the state also has one of the highest young men to young women ratios in the country. The reports say for every woman between the ages of 25 and 33, there are 1.6 men. So if you have money, move to North Dakota. If you want money, go to North Dakota. There's a lot of it there. And if you like the ratio between men and women, Perhaps maybe some bachelors may want to relocate to North Dakota. All right, that's the opening of this state shave. Now, ooh, I got to tell you what the scents are. So the scents for North Dakota, those would be spruce needle, clove, and cedar wood. Well, I chose to go with a sample that I had got long ago, but there's still some left, Taylor's cedar wood. And this is a sample because it's sample September. Some of you are doing uh, Sterling September. There's a bunch of things going on, but uh, I'm going to use this sample. And uh, I've got it mixed up in the, uh, or I'm going to mix it up in the Savannah Scuttle from Naked Armor. We're going to use the synthetic Omega S brush, which is a horsehair type uh, build. So we're just going to get this mixing up. Hope everyone's doing well. We are on the verge of uh, school. Some of you may have already gone back. My daughter starts on Monday. Uh, we had a, a quick orientation just the other day. So it almost seems like we're getting back to normal, even though most of us are still working remote. Hopefully you're working. And uh, if you're not, hopefully you find a steady income soon. But um, with the start of school, I mean, it's just, it's just so weird. The communication has been patchy at best. You know, we've had to follow up with people. Uh, we're far away from the school, so we take a bus. My, water, my daughter doesn't walk, so we had to get the bus schedule. And then there was um, 
a change to what the kids can can bring. Usually they bring three ring binders and stuff like that, but they can't do that now. It has to be plastic so it could be wiped down and sanitized and it's it's just this school year has been nuts but i digress at least uh at least there is school so my daughter can continue to educate herself <laughs> maybe uh but oh cedarwood smells so nice you know this is the stuff that um a lot of us you know old timers i guess you could say uh, we used to get a a, a block of this and we would hang it in our closets just to uh, just to make it smell nice. Um, I don't know why. I just I haven't done any research, and I don't know why that started. But there, there had to be a, a better reason than just to smell nice. But maybe to overcome some of the misty smell. Maybe who knows? But uh, it's whipping up really, really good. I have enough in my sample. Uh, for probably one more shave, and that would give me four, which is about average for those small little samplers. Yeah, beautiful. I'm just going to add a little bit more water. Uh, staying true to my last video, I did say that I was going to do some videos on other social media platforms, and I have, which is why you haven't seen a video come out on YouTube in a while. So, um, if you haven't noticed... Uh, we are up to 200 followers now, so thank you very much to all the new subscribers and, of course, much appreciation to all the existing and uh, subscribers that have been around supporting me for for a long time. So it's it's uh, I'm humbled by that. Thank you very much. I think what we're going to do is um, we're going to start to line up a giveaway, uh, but I'm not going to do that until I hit 250 subscribers. I just did a, a couple different giveaways at the beginning of summer, so we're gonna go to 250 for this one. Yeah, this is this is whipping up just beautiful. All right, fantastic. This sample, by the way, is uh, probably over 14 months, maybe 16 months, somewhere around there. So um, it didn't dry up or anything. It just just add a little water and. You're all set to go. All right, I haven't used this in a while. We're gonna shave with the Edwin Jaeger. This is the uh, ivory handle, so it's the DE87. It's the same as the 89, only the ivory makes it the 87. And inside, we're using a chroma stainless blade. It's on its second use. And I do have many days of growth. So, just gonna put a little bit of water on here. And we're gonna use some Three Butters Beard Softener, um, which is also a pre-shave oil, and it's sandalwood, so. I did get this from a gentleman that watches the channel, along with many, many, many other products. Very nice. Hmm. Good product. All right, let's rinse off the hand. See if I can uh, grab the towel here, dry off the hand so we don't have the razor slip all over the place. There's uh, a number of folks from, like I said, those other social media platforms that uh, got introduced to my channel, even though they, you know, uh, kind of follow me on Facebook and whatnot. Uh, they didn't either know I had a channel or didn't frequent it. So I've had quite a few of them interested in the Shave America series. So thank you to all of you again that have uh, subscribed and I'm glad that you're enjoying the series. There's one gentleman by the name of John that watched my Rhode Island state shave. And uh, he lives in Rhode Island. And uh, he found it uh, enjoyable and that all the facts were, uh, were spot on, which is good because, you know, I do do some research for these state shaves. And he said that he was going to send me some aristocrat, I think it's the aristocrat coffee syrup because if you recall, Rhode Island likes their coffee milk, which is 
uh, sort of like a, a mixture like chocolate milk. Only the coffee syrup that they use uh, is not sold anywhere in my area. So I'd have to go online to, uh, to get it. And the gentleman was nice enough to uh, offer some. So thank you very much. It was not necessary, but I look forward to trying it. Maybe I'll do a quick video mixing up some coffee milk and chugging it down. <laughs> it's a nice September day. Crazy, crazy, crazy work. Job security, I guess. Yeah, this chroma isn't too bad. It's not uh, It's not sharp. And the, uh, the Edwin Jaeger head is a uh, mild head. I remember um, the uh, Kodak film. So I found it interesting doing the research for this state shave. The, uh, the roll film, I remember. I still have, in fact. A 35 millimeter camera somewhere. I still have a video recorder that takes the Hi8 tapes, uh, not not the big VHS, but the the little the smaller ones like the cassette size. So tapes were a big thing, but they're limited to what they can hold, and it wasn't um, plug and play or. You know, you can use multiple devices to get at it. I mean, you had to actually watch the film, fast forward through it. You couldn't just lift and shift like some digital products now. And it wasn't such a vast array of items you could view it on. You know, you record something digital, you could just about watch it on any of the products nowadays. Phones, tablets, televisions, you know, you name it. Watches. But uh, I remember taking those rolls, you had to drop them off, and then you had to wait. <laughs> you know, there was uh, a one hour development, you had to pay extra for that. But, uh, you know, you had to wait several days to get it back. And then there was no, you know, fancy correction and red eye and you know you didn't you didn't have the ability to spruce things up sorry about that my neighbor's doing his uh yard with the grass cutter i guess. you know what let me close that window no respect i get no respect people cutting the grass i'm trying to film douchebag grass cutter <laughs> Those of you that watch Shave 326 will know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I remember dropping that film off, and, and you can't edit it. You know, once you get it back, you have the negatives. They included that with the picture. And then you can go to a professional and perhaps maybe have the negatives touched up some, but it wasn't digital. And it wasn't, you know, you look at it and you're like, oh, I don't like it, delete, take it again. No, no, you got one shot. You could take it multiple times, but you only got like, 25 or 30 pictures on a roll and then that was it man that was it now they did have kodaks that had like polaroids where you would take a picture and the the photo would automatically come out in fact i think they have something like that now it started to make the comeback it's more like a kid's camera but i guess adults can use it too but i found i just found that real real cool that they had uh that, you know, the, the name of the Kodak, right? Came from North Dakota. That was pretty awesome. All right, let's give you some more fun facts while we enjoy and bask in the scent of the cedarwood. So, Mr. Bubble Day is an official state holiday in North Dakota. The celebration began August 30th, 2011, and celebrates the entrepreneurial spirit of Harold Schaefer and the Gold Seal Company 
who were the creators of Mr. Bubble Bath in 1961. A sizable portion of North Dakota's population has Scandinavian heritage. Immigrants from Norway, Sweden, Denmark, Finland, and Iceland who migrated to North Dakota after land became available under the Homestead Act used to make up the state's largest ethnic group. So a lot of you um, from the European countries migrated your way over here and uh, called it home. So I guess uh, it's only fitting that uh, you know so many of you feel connected to the U.S. and vice versa. We travel there a lot, so it's great to have you and uh, keep coming. We, uh, we welcome you. Uh, the Great Pyramids in Egypt get all the attention, but North Dakota has one of its very own. Here's a pic. Now this large pyramid was built in Nakoma, North Dakota in the mid-1960s as part of the safeguard program to shoot down intercontinental ballistic missiles. It's equipped with a radar system and surrounded by a complex of missile silos. While the complex cost $6 billion to build, it was shut down only three days after it opened due to safety concerns. <laughs> hey, let's spend $6 billion, woo, and then piss it away. <laughs> I tell you. Only our government, right? And they can't find a way to, to do a second stimulus check. All right, second pass. You know, I don't know how many of those types of buildings or military institutions are still around because that was heavy during the Cold War with Russia. You know, they wanted to make sure that there was no nuclear thing. That would take place. So that was big. Big, big, big. Not so much. You know, we've had the the reduction of uh, nuclear warheads, even though they're still out there, they're secret stash. Don't let anybody tell you differently. And then there's the uh, the Star Wars program. They talked about that a lot. You know, these big lasers in space off of satellites to shoot down missiles. The U.S. actually stopped its shuttle program. So NASA still exists, but they haven't sent shuttles up in a while. Now it's public sector, or I should say private sector. Uh, you know, you got Elon Musk, SpaceX, and a whole bunch of other competing companies now that are building rockets so they can send satellites up into space. And, uh, you know, before you know it, we're going to have space trips. You know, astronauts are just going to get to go to the moon and stay on the space station for a honeymoon getaway or whatever. That'll be a bazillion dollars. So only the rich will get to do that, probably. Till we continue to kill this planet and then all of us will have to move to the moon. The days of Star Trek are coming. They're probably very far off. I'll never see it in my lifetime, but maybe uh, maybe our children's generation to follow. Maybe something will happen then. You never know. All right. How are we doing? Yeah, I think we can do just a light, uh, light third pass. Let me get some more water on the face. There we go. We still got plenty of lather. Oh, wow. All from a thumbnail size worth of shavings. Now, this may be a cream base, right? So, the sample that I got, again, it's 18 months old, give or take. So, it's not hard. It's soft, but it's, it's shavings, right? It's no longer cream base like you would expect. So if you 
have a tub of this. I'd be interested to know if it's more of a cream or a crop. I think it's a cream. But Tobbs is a good brand. I'm not going to be shy. I got so much lather. Yeah. Good mixture. Pile it on. Getting ready for football Sunday. Saturday, by the way, so they'll play tomorrow. We got to watch the Chiefs and the Texans replay their AFC championship match to start the season. You know, not too bad, uh, the actual play. I mean, there was a few penalties, but not bad at all. The players, for the most part, did fairly well. For not having any scrimmages and this COVID-type environment and... Uh, there was like 16,000 fans that were allowed to go into the stadium. You know, it's uh, some NFL teams like the Bills, no fans are allowed, at least for the first two games. Some are based on like 20% uh, seating capacity or what, whatever the formula is that the NFL is doing. But it wasn't too bad. It was an enjoyable game. I mean, turned out the Chiefs haven't lost a step, but we'll see if... Uh, We'll see if anybody can take them on this year and who the surprises are going to be for the playoffs. All right, last couple points for North Dakota. Almost every weekend in a town somewhere in North Dakota, there is some kind of festival. To name a few, there is a goose festival, a duck festival, a grape and garlic festival, a spare ribs festival, an apple festival, a barbecue turkey festival, an oil festival, and a kite festival. However, none of those can beat the Dickens Festival in the town of Garrison. Visitors were originally drawn to Garrison for the walleye fishing contest, but due to the town's love for Dickens, a Christmas carol, a Dickens festival was started. People now visit in the weeks before Christmas each year to witness the locals roam the streets dressed like characters from a Victorian era English novel and see the amateur theatrical troupe produce various versions of the story of Ebenezer Scrooge. So that's pretty cool. If you'd like to take a trip, maybe around the holidays, you can go to North Dakota and catch the Dickens Festival. The U.S. Corps of Discovery, better known as the Lewis and Clark Expedition, was the United States expedition to cross the newly acquired western portion of the country after the Louisiana Purchase which I talked about in a prior video. Commissioned by President Thomas Jefferson, Lewis and Clark were to explore and map the newly acquired territory to find a practical route across the western half of the continent and to establish an American presence in this territory before Britain and other European powers tried to claim it. Amongst the campaign's objectives were to study the area's plants, animal life, and geography and to establish trade with local American Indian tribes. Spending a great portion of the expedition near the present-day capital city of Bismarck, in October of 1804, they were joined by a Canadian fur trader and his wife, Sacagawea. who became the interpreter. Sacagawea is a member of the Shoshone tribe and is highly regarded by North Dakotans, evidenced by bronze statues throughout the state. She is a member of the North Dakota's Cowboy Hall of Fame, despite never even meeting a cowboy. And that, folks, are all of our tidbits for the state of North Dakota. We are going to finish up this shave, do the third pass. So let's go against the grain on the cheeks here. Yeah, this shave's mighty nice. Just gonna make sure that those trouble spots here. Oh yeah, they're gone. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Don't want to cut myself.
try not to talk when I do around my mouth and lips and nose area. Ooh, I closed that window. Starting to get a little warm in here. I think there's still some steam left because I had a shower right before this. Even though it's in the low 70s with a breeze. We certainly have uh, good insulation. It doesn't uh, doesn't breathe very well in the house, which is nice during the winter months, but tends to hold the heat upstairs a bit more. We have air conditioning, but why run that, you know? Just get a nice cross breeze going and you're good. Of course, I got the door closed and to eliminate the noise out there in the bedroom. I'm shaving at an angle here. This is my across the grain on the neck. Oh, by the way, my ear infection is doing much better. I don't have any cotton in my ears. I'm finally able to sleep without waking up multiple times in the night. Just from discomfort. Doing much better. I don't know what it was. I may have had a nasal infection and it just, you know, migrated to my ear, but... Swollen for a while. Much better now, though. Thanks to all of you that gave me well wishes. And we are done. All right, let me do a quick rinse and we're back for the post. Okay. No nicks, no little weepers. We're good. Excellent, excellent shave. All right, let's use some Thayer's coconut water. And we'll just uh, hit it with some toner. Mm. Yeah. Okay, and now what would go good with cedar wood? How about some Cremo? This is blue cedar and cypress. It's a EDT and it's a, got an atomizer on it, so. Smell nice. Mm. Really no sting, no burn. Very nice. Good shave. Again, thanks to all of you that become new subscribers. Uh, appreciate all of you watching me on my other social media and supporting me. Uh, I understand that if you don't have access to those platforms, that's fine. I'm still going to do videos here. In fact, the next video I have coming up is going to be the brother state to this one, which is South Carolina. We'll do them back to back and then we can see all the goodness from the Dakotas. That'll be coming out soon, but until then, I wish you all a great weekend. Enjoy football. Make sure that you stay safe and uh, be with your families. And until next time, take care. Bye-bye. Hear thy loyal children singing songs of happiness and praise.